Hey there everyone, so in this video I want to show you how to bypass your Google lock, also known as the Google FRP lock, um, on your Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Hello there and welcome to Cellular Pros. In this channel we do tech reviews and tutorials, so if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you're interested in making an extra $1,000 per week working part-time hours from your phone, then check out the video link in the description. Let's get right to the video now. All right, this is gonna be done without a computer, uh, without having to connect it to any computer or Bluetooth or anything like that. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. So let's go to start here. One thing you are gonna need to do though is you are gonna need to be connected to Wi-Fi. So once you're connected to Wi-Fi, continue. Here you gotta hit agree to all, next. Okay, and then this is where it says, uh, where it's gonna give you the message to verify your Google account. It says the device was reset to continue sign in with the Google account that was previously, previously sensed on this device. So here what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap right here, like if we're gonna type in the account, and we're gonna go to the settings bar down here. As you can see, it's down here. Uh, so select that. And then we're going to scroll up here. It might be a microphone. If it's a microphone, uh, just tap on that. It's the same thing. See, it might it might show up like a microphone, just like that. So just hold it. Tap on it and hold it. And this is going to come up and scroll over to the settings right here. There you go. Here on settings, we're going to scroll all the way down. And go to about Samsung keyboard. All right, here you go. So here in Samsung keyboard, uh, we're going to go to update. You're going to select update and it's going to bring you here to the Samsung keyboard update. Uh, so once we're here, uh, this is what, what we're going to do next. We're going to click on the search thing up here and here we're going to type in Samsung Internet Browser. So type that in. Um, mine's already showing up because I had already typed it in. So Samsung Internet Browser. Once you fully type it in, uh, hit go. And you're going to want to install it. Okay, so go ahead and install it. I already have it installed. Okay, once it's installed, you're gonna hit the play, the go to button here, the open button. And it's gonna take you to the uh, internet browser. So here in the internet browser, we're gonna go up here to the search bar and we're gonna type in google.dk, google.dk, and then hit go. It's going to take you here to this Google site. Here we're going to select here on the search bar and we're going to type in go launcher space APK. As you can see, I already have it here, uh, but just type it in and hit search. All right, and it should be the first link. It's going to look like that. Make sure that in the link it says go launcher slash EX up two down. Uh, so it's going to be that one. Uh, when you see that one, click on it. It's going to take you to a page that looks like this. And we're going to download the Go Launcher. So here, uh, on this page here, uh, I have to click here where it says latest version. That's what's going to download it. So click there. Okay, now it changed to the download button. So now we're going to hit it. Download. And then I'm just going to save it as the default name that it gives it. So save. All right, so once it's saving, it's gonna take a couple seconds depending on your internet speed to save. Uh, but once once it's saving, just go go ahead and go back. Keep hitting the back button till you get here. Okay, till you get to uh, this menu here. And now we're gonna search for a different app. We're gonna erase this up here and we're gonna type in files. Okay, when you type in files, um, all of this stuff right here should come up. Okay, and the one we're going to download is this one, Explore File Manager. All right, so just download that and install it. Mine's is already uh, downloaded and installed. Okay, once, uh, once it's installed, we're going to go ahead and open it up. 
Once you open up the uh, Explorer file manager, it should look like this. It's going to take you to all your files. So you're going to have to find the folder, the download folder. If you need to look around a little bit more, if, it's, if you don't see it here, just click on the three lines up here. And it lets you search, uh, you know, different parts of the memory of the phone, either the internal memory or the SD card, depending on where it might have saved. Mine's automatically saved to my SD card that I have in here. So, uh, so the download folder is right here. Once you find it, select it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to open up this one right here, the Go Launcher EX uh, that looks like that with the, with the three little circles. So you're going to select that one. Okay, so here we're going to go to settings because uh, it says that my security settings are blocking it. So let's go to settings. And you're going to have to um, enable unknown sources. So enable it. Okay, here we're going to hit OK. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unclick that so it can enable all of them. So OK. And then here we're going to hit install. There you go. So after a few seconds, it'll be installed. Uh, once you see this, just hit open. And there you go. It should open up the phone and it should take you to the phone where you can start using the phone normally. Um, this is a customized, um, uh, I guess, like OS for the phone. So everything is going to look different. As you can see, all the icons for the apps look different. But everything uh, does work. You can uh, open up the dial pad and dial as long as you have service. Uh, there is no home button here, so you're going to have to hit the back button. Contacts. Places. Um, let's go to messages. So here you can open up your messages. Normally. You can use your camera. So you guys get the picture. You're able to use your phone now. The only thing is that the, uh, you know, the way it's going to look is uh, a little bit different, and it's not going to operate completely like it should because this is just a uh, like a temporary OS that you installed on it to use it. All right, everyone. So that was just a quick video on how to bypass the Google FRP lock on your Samsung Galaxy Note 8. All right, so that's it for this video. Hope it was helpful. Please give it a like. It really helps the channel out a lot. And I'll see you guys around in the next video. Peace.